Barnabies, how are you today? Today is week two. I totally screwed up on my last video and put week two, so I have to go and fix that. That was week one. <laughs> this is week two of the Movie Marquee Challenge that I'm doing with the wonderful Heather the Crochet Witch. If you haven't seen her channel, her link is going to be down below for the rest of the year. Uh, go check out her channel. I just love her to bits. We are doing, for those of you that are new, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately. So yay, welcome. Um, we are doing a challenge, which is definitely a challenge. <laughs> uh, uh, what we're doing is we are, we pick movies at the beginning of the month. Um, she picks one month, I pick the other month, next month, she picks the next month, and so on and so forth. We've picked these six movies each uh, in December, so we have them all in hat, like I've got mine in a hat, she's got hers in a cauldron, and so we pick at the beginning of the month, and we show the movie poster, and we make a project from the colors from the movie poster. This month was Heather's pick. She did, dude, where's my car? <sighs> and <laughs> yeah, the colors in that movie are just like insane. There's so many colors to choose from. So uh, I chose premier base, not premier, um, premium, <laughs> premium, no, mm -mm. What is it called? Bernat Premium. Thank you. Uh, Bernat Premium and Craft Smart Value from Michaels for some of my colors. And I picked the blue. And I picked the yellow. And I picked the black, which I don't have. And then I picked... That wasn't from the other one. Did I use it all? Oh, there it is. I picked this color. Okay. So, I picked uh, the stitch pattern that I chose was from Hectanuga1 on YouTube. And I decided to make a whoops, Swancho style-esque. And I got both sides done. I got the front and back done. I took your guys. Uh, you, your advice was split, kind of. Um, a lot of you said do the front and the back the same. And a lot of you said do the front the way you did it and do the back in black. Back in black. Don't start singing. No. Um, so I decided, okay, there was one comment from one of you that said, I think that you should do the front and back the same because then you look beautiful coming forward and backwards. <laughs> so you look great from the front and the back. And I thought, hmm, okay. All right, I'm going to do that. And also because you would not have been able to see the stitch definition with the black. And to be honest, working with black yarn is awful. So I decided to do them both the same, but I screwed up. <laughs> so here is the beginnings of the, this is the first panel and the second panel. Okay. They are put together. So now all I have to do is the collar and the arms. I didn't realize until I put these together that I messed up. I don't know how I did it, but I was supposed to have 30 of these little square drop stitch things all the way across. On the first panel, I had 30. On the second panel, I had 29. I had 30 all the way down, like all, like all, this was all 30 stitches. Somewhere up here, I ended up with 29. Now, when I look at the sides, 
they look the same, right? They look okay, but yeah, I don't know what I did. So make lemons out of lemonade. I decided for the side that is, has the 29, that is the side, which is that side, that's going to be the back panel. And then the side that has 30 is going to be the front panel. And it's just going to droop a little bit, which is going to work out well when I put the turtleneck collar on it. And then it will droop even more. See? <laughs> I just kind of went, ah, I screwed that up. Okay, well, let's just do it this way. So that's kind of where I'm going with it because you see how it's already drooping, right? So I thought, okay, we can just take advantage of that because the other one was up like that. So this one's drooping. I'm good with that. I'm, I have to be because it's already put together. So, <laughs> um, so now all I have to do is the, the um, arm cuff on either side and the collar and I'm going to do a row of um, double crochet along the bottom just to finish it off I think and uh, yeah so not so bad I guess and this goes down to my waist um, well you guys saw the picture the last picture I put up of uh, the other one that I made, this one. Oh, I made this one. Oops. Right. And then the little sleeves. Okay. So these little sleeves are deceiving, but they are all the way down. Okay. So most of this is the sleeve. And then you've got the cuff, which is quite long but uh it's so comfortable holy cow and then you've got the the collar so yeah now the hard part i have to do the cuffs and everything in black thank goodness i bought those those glasses with the magnifying <laughs> if you guys saw that picture um I look goofy, but you know what? It works. A lot of people are asking me where I got them. I got them on Amazon. Uh, just look up magnifying glasses and they should come up. So yeah, if you haven't seen that picture, you go on my Instagram or go on my community tab. I think I may have even put it in my Facebook. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I look goofy, but man, do they ever help? So. So anyways, so that's my progress for week two. And uh, I am glad that part is finished. So now I just got to glide through the rest. Ooh. Excuse me. I'm so tired today and I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just kind of like lackadaisical. I am watching a lot of videos and just crocheting. I wanted to get this done, to get this part done so I could do this video. Because uh, I looked and I was like, oh, my video is going to be due. So I was like, oh, I guess I better get it done. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So anyways, go over to Heather Crochet Witch's channel and see what project she's doing. Her concept is really cool. I'm loving it. But then I love everything she does. So, you know, I'm a fan. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, go show her some yarny love. And uh, I guess that's everything. That's all I got, guys. <laughs> so I will see you next time. And uh, I love you all. Mwah. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.